Amand watched in awe as the ocean consumed the land. His mind could barely comprehend the size of the tidal wave. Mighty volcan oak trees, 80 feet tall, disappeared in the wave's shadow. It hit the beach, roaring with all the thunder in the world. There was a castless village there. Because of the never-ending threat of sea demons, only the non-people were expendable enough to live near the shore. Only it wouldn't be demons who did these in, but the fury of hell itself. The village was obliterated in an instant. Such power, such destruction. Amand had never been jealous of the sea before. The water was still coming at them. His fellow inquisitors ran for their lives, but Armand remained watching. As always, he remained supremely rational, even as something so seemingly irrational unfolded before his eyes. The fear was there, but logically, he knew their camp was a mile from shore and atop the tallest hill in the area. Even as his senses screamed to flee, he knew there was no better place to go, at least none that he could reach in time. The wave would either sweep over their hill or it would not. In the meantime, he would enjoy the show. The wave toppled and spread, churning white turned to roiling brown as the ground was torn to pieces and swept away. An entire forest was uprooted. Fields were buried. It carried massive boulders as if they were pebbles. The watery death covered that mile in a few heartbeats. There was another settlement in its path, worker cast, farmers by the looks of them, but then it too was smashed to bits. Houses were ripped from their foundations and bounced along atop the muddy mass, rolling until they shattered. Every resident who hadn't been instantly crushed would surely drown. Thousands dead, just like that. With astonishing speed, the ocean reached the Inquisitor's Hill. Gigantic trees bounced off the rocks below. Plumes of mud shot up, drenching them in a rain of filth. A man had avoided the sea for so long, he had forgotten its odor of salt and decay. The churning mass of debris was shoved farther and farther up the hillside, but it was slowing, and with a calculating eye, he guessed it would not make it over the summit. So, Armand watched, detached, as the dead and dying flashed by beneath him. Castless or worker, it was hard to tell the difference when they were just bobbing corpses. Man, woman, child. Even the livestock, pigs and cows, and wild animals, deer and birds. The ocean spared nothing. If their leader had not insisted on setting up their camp for the night on this high ground, they would be among those dead. There had been a small earthquake before dawn. The shaking had barely roused Amand from his slumber. But he had thought nothing of it and gone back to sleep. A brief time later, the Inquisitors had awoken to the sounds of monkeys screaming and hooting in the forest, as if they were fleeing something in terror. Leave it to those clever animals to have more sense than man. Luckily, before the Inquisitors had broken their fast and moved out, they had seen the distant sea receding. And now it had come rushing back with a vengeance. Who would have guessed that the demon's home would be even more wrathful than its inhabitants? Thankfully, fear of sea demon raids kept anyone of importance from settling too close to the shores. So none of these people would matter much. The Inquisitors had been sent to this province to root out a rumored gang of religious fanatics in the valley below. Those criminals were surely drowned now. So, mission accomplished. Despite the unimportance of the dead, a catastrophe of this magnitude would be a blow to his house. The water continued inland, turning small streams and canals into wide bolts of devastation. How far would it go?